How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 video and in today's video guys we are back to work on the NSX the the 2000 NSX with the uh, ours has a V6 in it no supercharger sadly but it's got a V6 so at least there's something uh, the motor makes if I didn't say that in the last episode 302 horsepower stock guys I'm guessing we're pushing this thing up to 550 ish um, by the time we're done in this video get that over there uh, but we're just gonna hop right in today oh, wrong spot uh, right in today getting the uh, body looking absolutely pristine so let's see go after a there we go so what I'm gonna do is rip off all these body panels hopefully we can repair some of them uh, maybe a headlight or two uh, but we are gonna be doing a facelift on this because this is a 95 right now and I think we can do it to a 2000s era facelift um, I'm pretty sure the mod creator said he had that in here. So that's what we're, we're going to be trying to do is just do that facelift on the front at least. Um, oh, yeah, this is also a right-wheel drive, right-hand drive car, if you guys did not know. All right, so everything looks good. Uh, let me see, use this. Get that front end out of here. It's going to be all rusty on me. It's really good because I can take a look and see everything that's rusted out. I can switch them. I can see that interior looking spotless return these guys to their homes all right there we go now we got a purpley black nsx right here nsx r is what it says on it uh let's see what can we repair from that okay everything we have on it says stock so everything that we just took off is stock so we're gonna flip it on its head and not do stock anymore um huh. let's see cars let's see we'll do nsx so here's where we get a lot of stuff. So we're going to do the facelift stuff, not the rocket bunny. Facelift, not rocket bunny, all right? So let me do these painted first. Then we're going to do facelift tail lights. There we go. And then for front headlights, we're going to do facelift facelift and then for nsx rear bumper facelift here's the left uh, fender facelift i think let me see the right side fender facelift oh it's right here that's the wing we want right there we already got the bumper Get this bad boy. I think they made this pretty much word for or like like picture for picture how it's gonna look in the movie. Give me that cover. Uh, definitely all tinted windows. Window trunk. We'll see if we need that. I don't know if we need that. All right. So we are loaded up on NSX parts now here, everybody. So here's the front end. So just stock facelift front bumper. Facelift headlight. Oh, yeah, this is it. This is exactly what it looks like on my picture. I have next to me guys. Oh This is gonna be awesome. All right. Oh We didn't get the fenders uh, We'll wait on the doors. Let's see if there's any doors we're gonna get tinted window tinted window Engine cover Get that guy on We need to get the trunk There's that Now let's remove those. So it's just a little bit of a difference, as you guys can see there. Not much, but just a little difference. Ooh wee, here we go. All right, so next thing we're gonna do fenders, guys. We're gonna look for some fenders. All right, so I think the fenders are stock. So we just gotta go with those, and then. It looks like our doors are also just straight stock. So we'll just do these. It really, really helps when mod creators actually label everything like this. Because it's so, so much easier to get the correct stuff. Painted. There we go. Yeah, we're going to be blacking out this entire car here. Except the rims. The rims are going to be silver. Um, then we need the left door. Alright, anything else that we need? 
And this next trunk, I know we need that, and trunk window. We'll see if we have the correct windows. The mirror. Alrighty, looking good. I know we got these fenders. And get the trunk lip on, and then the window. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that was a tinted window. Sweet. That's what I wanted. All right. Super close. Uh, we're going to go with a Arizona license plate. Actually, no, no. I have a bunch of license plates now. Let me show you guys these. So there's this license plate pack I downloaded that went through and redid a bunch of license plates. So now look at all these license plates down here. There's so many. Oh, we got to do the Japan license plate now that I see that one. Oh, yeah. Oh, heck yeah, bud. We're doing that. Oh, and there's a Lamborghini license. Why did I not get this license plate pack sooner? All right, there's our Japan. And the other Japanese. There. Oh, I love it. It looks great. Oh, wait, I should change these license plates. Oh, I should have made them just zero. Dang it. Never mind. It's fine. Okay. All right. Brake caliper cylinder. Oh, did I mess up on this one back here? Ah, I think I did. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good thing I checked that. Yep, I did. All right. Let's let's adjust this really quick. I realized I put the correct or incorrect cylinder in. Oh, yeah, guys, by the way, I, uh, oh, oh, what am I doing? I accidentally, accidentally, I did the suspension for this, uh, for this car in between this video and the last video. All right, there we go. So now all we need to do is put the engine in. Take that bad boy. Put it in over here so we can slide the engine in. Ooh, there we go. All right, we can see it in there. It looks great. I put that up in the air here. All right, now we got to get some wheels, guys. And it's really hard to look and see what the wheels are for this. So I'm just going to go off my best judgment. All right, guys. So if I'm wrong, if you guys know I'm wrong, don't 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 kill me for it. Um I mean, it's just like a simple five-spoke wheel. Uh Oh, I'm trying to decide. Maybe a classic. Maybe just rim classic two. No, actually, we'll just do rim classic three. Okay, let's check the size of those wheels. Actually, go to inventory. Rim classic one is what they went with. Okay, two hundred five fifty fifteen. Two hundred five fifty fifteen. Two hundred five fifty. 205, 50, 15s. All right, we got we got the tires. All right, let's mount and balance these bad boys. Okay, here. We're going to get all these mounted, and then... Yeah, that silver's pretty close, actually. I was going to say, I was like, do I need to paint these? But no, it's actually fairly close to what the actual uh, color is in the in the movie. Come on. Whoa. Grab my mouse and it went crazy. This next one being balanced. So here's the last one here. I'll let this last one mount real quick. And then we will pull it off. I guess that little black cap in the center isn't exactly the same, but it'll be okay. All right. Let's mount up this front exhaust section A for V6B. Let's get that piece. V6B, front exhaust section B, front exhaust section A. 
All right, we have it though. That's all that. That's all that matters. Oh, hey, and we did have section B too. And then we need rear muffler Fs. So let's get the fuel tank in above those. There we go. Muffler F. We got it. It's an extra four percent increase on horsepower. And then we get the fuel. Whoa, fuel pump in. And then a gearbox. We're gonna go performance gearbox, even though we're not gonna be doing any gearing ratios or anything in it. Let's still get it just so we have it. It's kind of like the thought process that goes through my mind with this. I'm just like, sure. I mean. There we go. Bam. And then starter V8. I should just stock up on starters. I know I'm going to need one for every single junkyard car I buy, so. I might as well just buy them now. All right. Axle B. And we saved all of those. And we have a couple tires that are ready to be put on already. So we'll finish up this whole... This whole rear side. Pop on over, slide that axle into place. Rim classic threes. Get that last one balancing. I think we have, yeah, I was gonna say, I think we're done on this side, so we can put this one on. Oh, we are so close. We are one tire away. And this thing is going to be worth over a hundred grand. Which is amazing. I think they actually, in real life, they hold their value pretty pretty well. These uh, 2000 NSX, uh, they do do pretty well. I know they sell for like a couple, couple, couple 10,000 grand. Ten, a couple 10,000, not 10,000 grand. All right, let me move this. Entrance. Oh, this thing is low. Ooh. Okay, so what do we got here? What is this seat? C11 Leather D. All right. It's the good usual Leather 11 D. Interior. Leather 11. Okay, we'll get two of those. Get that. Get the good racing steering wheel that we usually slap on these. Steering wheel eight is what it is. You crouch down when I install these. Ooh, we could do the, maybe the red seats. Oh, I love it. The red seats look great. I mean, they don't, they like sink into the ground, but you know, you're not gonna be looking at the ground the whole time. So hypothetically right here, those seats look great. I love it. The seats in the movie are black, I'm pretty sure, but we're gonna do this. I guess those wheels do look a little lame, but they're also supposed to be really small wheels. I guess we probably, probably could have done 16s or 17s. It's fine. I just wanted to do what the car came with just so I know for sure it would actually work. All right, let's go get a metallic black finish on this. All right, thank you. I'll step in here. Okay, so current and factory the same. So brightness none, saturation none. I'm trying to get some good some good looks on it. Not the chrome. Chrome's too much. All right. There we go. Our black NSX is done. Let's see what this thing puts down for power. Hey, but we need oil in the engine first before we can do anything. Hey. <laughs> that was a good thing we didn't do anything with that. Okay. I can't believe I forgot to do the do the oil. Ah. It's a chump move. Chump move on my part. It's all right. Get some good soup oil in it. All right the engine back you gotta put each part in piece by piece all 
All right. There we go. 100, 100, 100. This thing is now worth about 120 grand. Fully souped up, ready to go, ready to hit the dyno. Let's see what she does. My guess, like I said before, guys, is still probably 550 because there were a lot of performance parts put into this bad boy. All right. Mid engine, rear wheel drive, 95 NSX with a 2000 facelift. Let's see what she does. Good graph, good graph. Ah, 507. That's still uh, still pretty good, guys. This thing would definitely tear up the streets. Yeah, this thing is insanely fast now that we got it at 507 horsepower. That is just absolutely crazy. And I forgot, it's right-hand drive. That's awesome. All right, let me move this back. Garage entrance A. Shut the doors behind us. Gotta keep this place clean. All right, guys. But well, there we go. There is our two thousand. Or it's a it's a ninety five with a two thousand facelift uh, Honda NSX. It's uh it's a Japanese car put on Japanese plates. It's 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 absolutely amazing, guys. I really really like uh the look. It's got it's got a weird lower back area. I think it's a little bit different on the actual two thousands, but it looks pretty similar. Especially the face. The face is the exact same. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed this video so far, will you hit that like button? I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, next video, guys, I think we're going to be doing the S15 Sylvia. I think it's either going to be red or another color. Because uh, there's two different Sylvias that appear in the movie. So, not sure. But we'll be figuring that out when we get there. When we cross that bridge. But if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you guys aren't subscribed yet. So you can stay up to date on all the car mechanic, Fast and Furious videos and everything that we're doing here. Uh, but yep, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next Car Mechanic Simulator video.